Welcome back, welcome back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually, uh, the next couple weeks, we're gonna be doing uh, some sleepaway camp movies. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. you know, we're gonna horror buddy watch these, man. Gory you know. goodness. Oh yeah, I mean, I fucking, I love these movies. This movie puts me in a great mood. Yeah, this, this, this is, uh, this, this movie is awesome. It is, it came out like, uh, well, November of 83, and that was like right when, you know, Friday the 13th. I was going in the theaters, and they uh, they thought it was gonna be like a you know, a regular like just slasher flick, you know, your your typical. And uh, well, I don't want to spoil it really into anybody I hadn't seen yeah. it, but the ending it was just like whoa. Uh, so we're, we're gonna watch the Scream Factory uh, uh, Blu-ray, which is freaking awesome. I love this. Uh, it's it's like stacked with extras. Um, it uh it. it you know, we'll, we'll we'll discuss how it looks after after we watch. It. I mean, I've, I've I've seen I've seen the Blu-ray a few yeah. times, and I know it looks good. So spoiler there. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm all about I'm all about like commentary tracks. This 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 Blu-ray has two. Yeah, that's um, awesome, man. Yeah. So Felissa Rose actually these days is like uh, she's actually produced a couple metal videos for like Slayer. Yeah, yeah, she did a. Repentless and uh, was it uh, you against you? Yeah. You against you? Yeah, Repentless was a killer video. It was dudes running around like in the prison, like prison break, just, oh, like, yeah. messing each other up. Fuck, wasn't uh, like, wasn't uh, uh, was uh, fuck, uh, um, Tyler Maine was in that. What wasn't Tyler Maine? Uh, plays so. uh. Uh, Michael Myers and the Rob Zombie. Um, yeah, I think he yeah, was. He, in, he was in there. Was Danny Trio. Uh, tri yeah, I think he had like a cameo. Uh, Derek Mears probably did. I mean, it's, yeah, sick uh, video, man. Yeah, uh, and it was actually directed. Both of the videos were directed by uh, B. J. McDonald, which did how uh, Hatchet Three, yeah, which we'll be right. doing later on that's at right. some point. Because yeah. uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit up the uh, the Hatchet series. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I was uh, curious, like what happened with uh, I always liked the the cook. He was such a good villain. Oh there. god, yeah, he fucking was fucking cool vile, vile. Yeah, <laughs> and a uh, great actor, just totally believable. And like, uh, I find I, I couldn't find much on him. You know, he that was kind of like a one one thing he did, and uh, that was it. Nothing else afterwards. And I don't know. I'd like to know if anybody knew knows anything about him. Let me know or let us know. You know, uh, yeah, I'd yeah. love to. Cause I just love that guy. You know, he gets bald. He's like, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna head to the sofa and we're gonna watch this shit, man. All right. All right. I would love. I would love to see John Waters like straight up direct a horror movie. I know, right? That would uh, that would be good. It, something about this part reminds me of like something John Waters would do. Her, her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Something about the uh, the aunt's character just totally reminds me. Like, yeah, boy. Yeah. You know, as a as a kid, I was all about Angela, but you know, yeah. shit. As an adult, I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. God, the crazy yeah, aunt, you know. Though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw this when I was like ten or eleven. I was yeah. over at a friend's house. Uh, we rented it from uh, like Rainbow Video. Yeah. Uh, this that was a late bloomer. This is one of those I was a late bloomer. I think I was like. Maybe our teens want to see it. Uh-huh. Oh, my. Those shorts. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Those shorts are amazing. Baby, you know, we, we should actually be wearing those shorts while we watch this. Yeah. We should, totally. <laughs> I mean... Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Artie. Artie being a... Pervert. Yeah. Oh, one thing I, the cook's assistant being one thing I forgot to say about him. Uh, he is a. Uh, he's the father of uh, James Earl Jones. Hell yeah. His name's uh. Fucking uh. Robert, Robert the voice Jones. of Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
It's his father, and uh, he was like a good boxer, champion boxer. He came with like Joe Lewis and stuff, and real colorful past, man. He had Langston Hughes, he was friends with him, and did some stuff with him, you know, in the Harlem Renaissance. I think he did some, like, I think Broadway plays or something. Like that. It's crazy he's in this, man. It's, Look at the quality of this shit, man. I know, I know. That's they they've done an outstanding job. It's beautiful, man. Of cleaning this up, man. Yeah. A lot of people today are all about the VHS and you know, yeah. kind of the throwback. I mean, I can understand the love of like of uh, vinyl and shit like that, but like all these fans of VHS, it's just like, dude. I mean, you know, I mean, we were about some VHS. I mean, I fucking have, down in the basement, I have fucking boxes and boxes of VHS. But shit just doesn't look good on VHS. No, man, you got tracking problems. And yeah. Tracking. But, but this... Yeah, it's just, This is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that fucking fly trap. That is fucking yeah, nasty. That is this fucking day. nasty, yeah, dude. It is nasty. I love it. I mean, I, I guarantee fucking T you, you had the fucking VHS. You're not going to see that fly trap that good. Yeah, you're not. So the guy out there playing baseball, but he's out there with his little video game system in his hand. Yeah. So this, this fucking mobile phone obsession is not new. I mean, this was in fucking 83. 83 yeah. And yeah, then, I never thought about that. I, yeah, me either, man. So, you know, all these people saying, oh, you know, these mobile phone games and people not paying attention to movies and yeah. not doing this. Yeah. Motherfuckers Belly out there in fucking left field or some shit. Yeah. And he's out there with his fucking video game calculator playing, yeah. playing a fucking game. <laughs> that BOC shirt, man. <laughs> Man, that's oh, the yeah. 70s, I think, or eight, early 80s. Yeah, I mean, we're... Yeah, metal shirts, dude, they come along. They, they really have. I mean, when, when you look at something like that, and you think, what the fuck we got these days? Yeah. I mean, I mean, look at your fucking Dio shirt there. Yeah. I mean, you know, my crew shirt, you know, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a newer, like, you know, Hot yeah. Topic type thing. Yeah. You know? Uh, taking the theater or paying crew shit, but uh, yeah, yeah, that I mean, the tuck too, man. The tuck, what the fuck? Why do you have a metal shirt on? Yeah, and you got yeah, it fucking right. tucked in. Yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, at least he has the hair to match. I yeah, mean. yeah, you gotta give him that much, but the tuck, yeah, go, man. That tuck, oh, fuck. No, dude. It ain't, it ain't happening. Yeah, his fucking, yeah. What's the matter? Can you talk? One day, she will marry one of her super fans. That's actually the guitarist vocalist for CKY. Yeah, yeah. So, she don't need your ass. What's that, it, Darren? Darren Miller? Something like that. I don't know. It's, Darren Miller or somebody. Oh, the fucking hat, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did Randy do it to me once? Or? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. It, 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 back in those days, man, Randy loved to play fucking pranks I know, and shit. He was fucking, dude, I think, did we do that to Jamie too? I think so. I think we fucking got her on the fucking yeah. shaving cream sleep thing. Yeah. But I remember you were like sitting there asleep. And uh, we we got your hands full of fucking shaving cream. There was a motherfucking condom involved with mine, wasn't it? Like it was like hardcore. Oh shit! Yes, yes, there was. Yeah, there yeah. was. <laughs> that man. shit was cruel, man. Randy was fucking cruel, man. Randy, you fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, or, like got a fucking piece of toilet paper and fucking like you know you would fucking tickle tickle the yeah. ears and the face yeah, and they, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Or you can stick somebody's fingers in water and they piss themselves and shit. And <sighs> crazy shit. So I'm thinking about it. I think I was... I think it was 88 whenever I watched this. So I was actually 12. Mm -hmm. um, so, so our neighbor 
our neighbor was like kind of a, a manager of uh, a, a video, a rainbow video. Oh, well, rainbow you, video. You remember that? You remember we went next door to Rainbow to get two live crew, yeah, uh, nasty yeah. as they want to be. Yeah, you remember that shit? Jay's hair care products and music. Yeah, yeah, they. But whoa. Oh, dude, look at the short. Man, the theme to this movie, really, is the shorts. Yeah, they got some shorts. Yeah. So I'm heartbroken. Not because of the bees took the kid out, but, dude, he crumpled that comic book. I mean, that, that, that hurts. So this dude, the, uh, the dude that's over the, the camp, I mean... He's like, he's like, he reminds me of the cook from uh, Texas, Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's not him, though, but. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it reminds me of him, too. Yeah. I mean, this death scene, I mean, you don't see yeah. anything, but just to. Just imagine. Uh, yeah, just knowing what's going on right now. It's that with a curve on our Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking brutal, dude. Even if you live from that, you'd never psychologically be right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. It was, it was just, yeah. It'll fuck you up, man, for life. Oh, my God. That painted on mustache is freaking killing me, dude. Dude, look, you can see, like, his real stash is hanging out of the painted on one. They just pasted it on him. And, like, right here, like, his real mustache, you can see, like, where it hangs out a little bit. What in the ever loving fuck? What in the actual fucking hell? Yeah. Why? Really? Yeah. Like it's just, it's a lot darker than the rest of his like hairs. Yeah. Angela, are you alright? All right, boys and girls, here we go. This is the end. Um. Okay, so that was uh, sleepaway camp. From 1983. Um, yeah. That was a great film. Man. Yeah, I, I loved it. I love it. Um, I just can't say enough good about it. Yeah. yeah. So, so while watching it, I had the IMDb Judy. And uh, um, she actually, she was only in one other movie. One other movie. Which yeah. was a short film made in 2014. 15 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, we we actually we're we're kind of we're kind of shocking all right now because we actually watched that right right after we watched. Uh, yeah, I've never seen it. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this isn't a review for Judy, so we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna talk about this. This was beautiful. It was, man. It was. I saw just a little bit of you know quirkiness with the with the the film quality. But I mean, for for the Blu-ray, it's it's. I mean, it's yeah, it's shout factory, I mean, a screen strip. factory. It, yeah, it yeah. It, uh, it 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 was good. Um, I I love the movie. Yeah, that is uh, a surprise, like three eighty, man. Yeah, uh, I I'm uh, you know it kind of sucks that um, Angela's recast in two and three, but you know that that it's cool. We'll we'll, we'll get yeah. to those movies yeah. later. But as a as a uh, as a slasher film, I mean, it was a fucking good yeah, slasher. Yeah, good slasher. I, film. I love the camp setting. I mean, I always love a camp <coughs> setting. Whenever yeah. I, you know, I watch, you know, slashers, it's like yes. And even a bit of a love story, like, you know, for a bit in there, you kind of feel sorry yeah. for her when he's yeah he's trying to get Paul, some off of her. Yeah, you know, she, yeah. She was like, oh, don't, don't, don't tell. Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. I loved it. It's just sad that. Uh, Robert Helsick, the director, didn't really do anything other than that. You know, I, I think he did something in two. He did Return to Sleep Away Camp. Okay, which we will have to, we'll have to find this. We'll, that was in 2012. Yeah, we'll have to find that. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to find that. We'll have to watch that. <laughs> it's crazy. He's like an attorney practicing like family law or something now in New York. And he didn't even know that this was a cult classic. I mean, they had to tell him like, damn, this is like huge in the horror community he didn't know didn't even know about it and that's when he like started uh, looking and directing another one and yeah that's sleep well return to sleep away that's that's the, cool the that's result cool. of that the product of that yeah yeah a lot of a lot of negative stuff was on 
that I found about it, but some people, I guess you can make what you want out of it, positive or negative, but I, it was a positive thing to me, a message-wise. Oh, it, it was for me, too. It was know. like, you know, not, it's anti-bullying, really. It's like, if you, if you, if you aren't bullying people and beating them up and being cruel, you're going to get what's coming to you. you yeah, know, yeah. Some yeah. way or another. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, that, that, that's definitely going to be, you know, I, I don't watch that one yearly or anything. It is definitely, uh, something yeah. I have revisited time and time again. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. and yeah. I will revisit this again. Uh, well, um, I hope everyone is enjoying our videos. Um, you know, if you got any suggestions for us, you know, leave us a comment uh, like, like I said, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be doing at least two and three, uh, yeah. for sl- sleepaway camp and hopefully return to sleepaway <laughs> yeah. camp. Hopefully we can score that somehow. <laughs> um, yeah. if you do like us, feel sorry for us or whatever, smack the like button, subscribe, <laughs> you know, let us know. All right, man. Uh, buddies for life. Oh, Stay yeah. spooky. <laughs>